Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. So how do you know when you come across a special bike? I mean, if it's not a head badge like this, it's gonna be at least the color and you should see this black in real life is really breathtaking. This is the one bike to rule them all. It's called the Peacemaker and is made by Mullet Cycles, a true boutique company that built this from the ground up to be a mixed wheel size bike. 27 and a half in the rear, 29 are up front. Let's check it out. And even though I can't wait to ride this bike, before I get it dirty, I thought I would cover the build. The guys at Bike Components did an amazing job by specking this bike with some of the nicest components that I've seen in 2021. And I'm definitely gonna start by saying that the frame itself, it's super special, and I'm gonna leave that for the end. But what you're looking at here is a cockpit made out of PNW components. You have the loam grips and the PNW loam 170 millimeter dropper post. I reviewed this on my site not too long ago. You're looking at 35 millimeter bars that use a 50 millimeter stem. Both the bars and the stem, I believe are called the Ranger version three. What's special about the stem is the accessories mount that can be removed, but this allows you to install a GoPro right here in front of your bike. Bars are cut to 780 millimeters long right now, and they are providing a 30 millimeter rise. On top of the lifetime warranty dropper, you're gonna find this Pro Logo saddle that is MTB specific. You see it how short it is. And as a remote, you're gonna get my preferred remote as of late. This is the MT500, the Dior version of the Shimano remote that I would highly recommend. Bike is spec with Shimano components throughout and you can see this iSpec EV shifter attached to nothing else but the XTR brakes that I looked at not too long ago. Cranks are XT also, 170 millimeters. You can see the XTR trail pedals. Obviously, this is not the Shimano chainring. It is an absolute black 32 tooth oval. And right next to it, you're gonna notice this, the XTR M9100 chain that I recommended in many of my videos before. Here in the back, you have again a 10 to 51 XT cassette. And coming down, you have that SGS XT derailleur that is part of the XT group set. And it wasn't that visible from the other side, but the bottom bracket is a threaded bottom bracket. This is a Shimano signed BB80, I believe. And yes, the color matching here goes to the extreme as even the cups are gold. And I mentioned the XTR brakes. These are not any brakes, but the four piston M9120s that I looked at not too long ago. What's special about these is that they are used with XTR rotors as well. You see the ICE Technologies Frieza. You see this uh, painted black portion of the XTR rotor. These would be the MT900 center lock discs. Same 180 rotor is used in the back and you can see that spacer needed here to elevate your four piston caliper for it. And I mentioned the components being special on this bike. Well, if you look at the wheels, these are actually bird wheels, not just the spokes. The spokes have been in the news as of late because they are super special. They're not made out of steel, but they do get installed just like regular spokes. You can see that 14 gauge nipple here at one end. At the other end, they have a loop and a tiny, tiny rod. That's how they attach to just standard either j-band or straight pull hubs but what's special about these bird spokes is the fact that they reduce the wheel set weight by 100 to 200 grams and also they reduce vibration apparently they're about 200 percent better at dampening vibrations coming from the wheel so i can't wait to see them in action these are laced on industry 9 hydra hubs this is a boosted bike so 110 millimeter front and 148 millimeter rear and this has a really high engagement point we're talking about 690 engagement points that would sound like this this specific model is the tr30 so 30 millimeter internal id the wheel set comes up to under 1500 grams if you take a look at their other 
wheels that they have on their website. They're pretty impressive weights. Remember, this is a 27.5 rear and a 29er front. And of course, on such a bike build, we could only have somewhat different tires. We're looking at the Vittoria Agara over here. Just perfect trail tires that are built with what's called Graphene 2.0. This is a 29 to 235 that has a thread pattern that reminds me of the Maxxis Recons. Even though the rear tire is a 27.5, it's the same Agaro and is the same width, 235. Actually, Mullet recommends using the same type of tires and the same width, front and rear, for optimal performance of this bike. And the perfect suspension up front for the bike is being provided by this Fox 36 factory. So factory comes with Kashima coating. This is a fit four fork, not the grip two. You can see the three positions here and the adjuster for the open position. If you go down at the bottom of the fork, you're gonna find your rebound adjuster hidden right underneath this cover. Here we go. Fork is installed on this tapered head tube with a King Creek 40 headset. This is the ZS type, so you're gonna have to press the cups into the frame. And a couple of things that are special about this fork, first of all, is this floating through axle. That's what motorcycles have. And also what you're going to find on motorcycles is this bleeder for the lowers, just to make sure that you don't build up any pressure down here that would just destroy your small bump sensitivity. This is a 2022 fork with that redesigned arch and you also have the bypass channels right here at the back of the lower leg. And to go along with that short offset fork, we have an Allens shock that is performing a lot of duties on this special frame. That is because this is a single pivot frame and you can see that oversized main pivot over here. It says double stack because you actually have two bearings in here one radial and one needle bearing that keep that rear end really nice and stiff. And if you look carefully at it, you're gonna see machine pieces like over here. You're gonna see tubes, again, connecting to other CNC machines that are hollow here in the middle to save a little bit of weight. And you're gonna see this 160 post mount directly machined into the left side dropout. What's up with the elevated chain stays? Well, first of all, you can install up to a 38 front chain ring on this bike. That with an up to a 3.0 tire. So 27.5, 3.0, and believe me, you have a ton of clearance in here. I love how the bottom of the seat tube is nice and straight. So you're not gonna have any junk or mud accumulating here at the bottom. And with that main pivot down here, you have a straight seat tube that allows you a lot of dropper post insertion. I would say that you have about 20 centimeters or 18 inches available to you here until you get to that cable port. The main pivot is right here on top of your bottom bracket so you don't push into the shock. The shock is fine-tuned to work best with this frame. This TTX air shock is the more expensive version that Mullet offers for the bike. Shock is attached to the swing arm using needle bearings and yes you do have this color matched with the bike and the fork. And right next here you're gonna start to see this top tube that is hydroformed into these very interesting shapes. You have a really neat weld here that attaches it to the head tube and to the down tube that's hydroformed. You see the taper here coming down to the bottom bracket that has this box where that main pivot and the threaded bottom bracket is. What we're looking at in there is ISCG tabs and you can see a one-up bash guard that's installed on two of those attachments. As for cable routing, Prime accepts internally routed dropper post, but other than that, all the hoses and the cables are run externally. So yeah, I guess shop mechanic rejoice. With the dropper remote housing going right here, right in the middle of your down tube, and the shifter and rear brake hoses being routed right here under the top tube. The beauty of this is that these lines are pretty much straight from the handlebar all the way to the back where they're needed. So that allows you a smooth movement of that inner cable or in case of the brake, it just makes it easier to properly bleed your brakes. And just like you would expect from a modern bike, you do have room in the front triangle for a 600 millimeter bottle. So what's special about this 
150 millimeter bike aside from being an awesome build? Well, the Peacemaker was designed from the ground up to be using a mixed wheel set. So 27 and a half in the back, 29er up front. Or as they say, it's all business up front and it's all party in the back. And that means that it has perfected geometry for the way the bike behaves. That's supposed to give us not only amazing tire clearance in the back, not only that it's built like a tank, but it's supposed to corner better than a pure 29er and it's supposed to roll better than a 27.5. And according to them, everything is so customized that it's not even worth comparing geometry numbers between a bike like this and one of the bikes that you would find from the major manufacturers today. So much so that they only provide the reach numbers. This is a medium providing 457 millimeters reach. As for the top tube, so seated pedaling position, this is 622, which would be perfect for me. Other than that, like head tube angle, seat tube angle, bottom bracket, or even chain stay length, none of that is provided, but that makes me even more curious to take this for a spin. And I plan to do that in my next little video. So what do you guys think about these awesome mullet bikes? Did I mention that they have more than one option for head badge? This is actually just one of the three called the Rooster. Would you be interested in trying out one of these? Would you be interested in building one of these aluminum amazing bikes? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep an eye on my channel for the part two of this video where I'm gonna take the Peacemaker to my local trails. Cheers guys. Cheers.